Boeing is making strong waves in the industry with the reveal of its highly anticipated new aircraft program, the Boeing 797, which promises to be a game changer, revolutionize performance, and challenge Airbus's dominance. But why does this new aircraft have the potential to do all that? Let's find out. Former Boeing CEO Phil Condit has urged the company to quickly develop a new aircraft to boost employee morale and restore its position. From the 737 MAX scandal to delays with the 777X, Boeing is losing both trust and market share. Moreover, the gap between the 737 MAX and 787 Dreamliner presents a major opportunity. Airlines increasingly need a mid-sized jet that's fuel-efficient, versatile, and capable of serving both transatlantic and longer domestic routes. The 797 is expected to fill that gap and open new markets for both passenger and cargo variants. Meanwhile, the 737 has reached the end of its development potential, and Boeing needs a worthy successor to this historic icon. With Airbus rapidly gaining ground, especially with the success of the A321 XLR, Boeing can no longer afford to stand still. The 797 will be a strategic product, a symbol of Boeing's rebirth, reflecting its ability to innovate and its ambition to reclaim global leadership in aviation. But can this new aircraft truly live up to all the expectations? Initially, it was envisioned as a twin-aisle jet for added comfort and faster boarding, but now it may lean toward a lighter, single-aisle design. Why the change? Reduced weight means better fuel efficiency and lower operating costs, exactly what airlines want. Secondly, some rumors suggest the 797 could inherit the sleek fuselage style of the 787 Dreamliner, offering a blend of comfort and economic efficiency. Boeing also plans two variants, a standard model seating 220 to 225 passengers, and a larger version accommodating up to 275, outclassing the A321 XLR's 220-seat limit. With an estimated range of 4,500 to 5,000 nautical miles, the new aircraft could dominate key transatlantic routes like New York to London or Tokyo to Sydney, outperforming even the XLR. However, the real game-changer lies in the engine. Boeing's next big decision is choosing between leading contenders GE, CFM, Pratt & Whitney, and Rolls-Royce. Each offers a unique mix of fuel savings, low maintenance, and reliability, critical factors that will shape airline interest and long-term profitability. Another key upgrade is the landing gear. Boeing is learning from past mistakes, giving the 797 higher gear to accommodate larger, more efficient engines, enhancing safety, ground clearance, and future-proofing the design. Finally, the use of carbon fiber composite materials, borrowed from the Dreamliner, ensures a lighter airframe, better fuel burn, and a more comfortable cabin with lower pressure and higher humidity. Will the 797 be the perfect balance of innovation, efficiency, and passenger comfort? Would you fly the 797 over the XLR? Let us know your take. But one thing is certain, if Boeing gets it right, this jet could be the breakthrough that reclaims the crown in the skies. Airlines urgently need aircraft tailored for medium-haul routes, especially in fast-growing regions like Asia-Pacific and the Middle East. The upcoming 797 can meet this demand, but faces tough challenges. Chief among them is competition from Airbus's A321 XLR, which is already flying and has secured strong orders thanks to its fuel efficiency and long range. Boeing also contends with emerging threats from Embraer and others offering lower cost alternatives. Non-stop there, ongoing supply chain instability, which could delay production. Finally, selecting the right engine, balancing performance, cost, and environmental standards will be critical to the 797's success. What about you? What's your choice? The 797 or the A321 XLR? Drop a comment below. Thanks for watching, and see ya.